Hi everyone, so this project that shows how to test a to-do MVC with GraphQL using Cypress has a lot of specs, as you can see right here. And I do organize specs maybe by topic, and I use Cypress Grab to give the topics uh, tag, so that I can conveniently run all the tests that, for example, stab Apollo client. I have a separate workflow where I'm installing Cypress on all dependencies, and then I have a couple jobs that run after that. For example, I run all the tests that are tagged dynamic in this job. I have a separate job for running all the tests tagged visible, and I have separate jobs for client and intercept. Now, it's all nice and it does run. The problem is, after the end of this workflow, I have a couple of specs that are never covered by anything really. For example, the request. Right? I only ran the tests tagged with something in each. How do I run all the specs and all the tests but don't have any tags? So for this, I've added a new parameter to Cypress Grab. Pump it up a little bit. But allows you to only pick the tests or suites of tests that don't have any, don't have any tags. So let's try it out. So what happens in our project if we try this? Okay, so it found 17 specs. Notice it's all the tests in the client spec because the client spec has a top level tag. Okay, so those tests were skipped, but completes to do spec right here doesn't have any tags at the describe or individual test level. So that's why it I ran all the tests. Okay, so all the tests are running that don't have any tags. We can go to back to our workflow and we can say if all the tag tests pass, run all the untag tests. And we can say only run this um, job when everything else is has finished successfully. And in this case, use this parameter and pass it as an environment variable to Cypress. And push the code and let's see how it runs under actions. This is the workflow. So we're installing in one job and we run all the tag tests in parallel jobs and at the end we'll run just untagged tests. So this is what you can do too.